Hello everyone, this is Feel Good of Feel Good Gunpla back with a Master Ray Gundam F90 uh, mission pack review. This one is of the B pack, which transforms the Gundam F90 into the B type. Now, this is another mission pack that I've seen in the advertisement for the Gundam F90 mission packs on YouTube. This pack comes in a set with the K pack. Again, thanks to Affirm for making this mission pack possible. Now, this pack here, I would say it's not one of my favorites, but I would say I would also say that I don't necessarily dislike the pack. It's just not one of my favorites. I will admit it looks cool. You know, it's a cool looking uh, mission pack with the missiles, the cannons on the shoulders. You know, the grenade launchers on the arms. I don't know, but for some reason other than that, it's like, eh, when it comes to what I think about the pack. So, let's get right into the positives. Color and part separation, like the others, is amazing. The detail is also good on this kit. Pan line opportunity is pretty good on it also. Posability is good. Better than I thought, actually. But at the same time, due to the mission pod, not mission, sorry, the missile pods on the shoulders, the grenade launchers on the arms, and the backpack, it makes posability slightly limited. Of course, you can get your neutral pose, um, the grenade launcher pose, the beam rifle pose, I'm not beam rifle, um, the beam cannon pose, and, you know, the money shot pose, which is basically the missile pods opened up, all opened up, as you see here. Um, but there was one pose that I honestly didn't think that I was able to get. But surprisingly, I did. And that is the beam rifle pose. I got it in a beam rifle pose. However, it's a little tricky and it's a little bit of a catch. Um, because the way the grenade launchers sit on the arm, it does make the beam rifle point down a little bit. So you kind of have to play with the arm and stuff. My biggest fear with this pose is the fact that it may put unnecessary pressure on the trigger hand and may end up bending something to the point that it break and then you have a hand because you only get one pair of these so one pair of the trigger hands one for each arm so even though it can be done the beam rifle pose i would be careful especially when it comes to that the manipulator the hands the trigger hands don't want to end up messing up one and lose one I have already lost one of the grabbing hands to go into the right side of the mobile suit. So when it comes to the L-type, I guess I'm going to have to figure something out. So, um, also like the other mission packs, it comes with water decal stickers. That's the one thing I do like about these mission packs. They give you the best stickers. It's not just the kit. So, um, the mission packs so far, I'm thinking all of them have them. Correct me in the comment section below if I'm wrong. Uh, has what decal stickers. So you ain't got to buy them separately. They come with them. Which is very nice. Also, like I said at the beginning. This comes in a set with the K-Pack. So if you want just the... Mm, sorry. If you want just this particular mission pack. Unfortunately, you have to buy it in a set. With the other one to get it. Me, personally, I like the K-Pack more, but I figure I might as well build it, get my money worth, plus show you guys. So, now, the gimmicks. I'm honest, I guess the gimmick of this one, if you call it a gimmick, is the missile pods being able to open up. And, of course, you see the reflective stickers that are in each one of the pods. I'll try to slightly point them out. They're right here. Also, um, they're right here 
on the missile pods if I can show you a picture of it in its neutral pose and you see the, re the reflective stickers on the missile pods that's three of them on each missile pod those are nice but I really like the ones that are in the missile pod themselves I think they make uh, it just it just makes it look a whole lot better it I feel like it brings out more of the kit than it would if you didn't so I guess you can say there's, now that I think about it, possibly two gimmicks. The missile pods open up and the reflective stickers in uh, the missile pods. So, me, eh, you know, that's good. Negatives of this kit. Negatives of this kit. Honestly, I really can't think of any negatives. Uh... I guess if I can try to think of something that I had a hard time with it is when it came to posability. But I, I'm I'm thinking that that's a given just by looking at this kid and you see everything that's on the shoulders and the arms. You know, I think, you know, the, the cannons on the backpack, I think it's a given that you're, you're going to have a little bit of a challenge trying to pose just because everything's up there. But. Honestly, I don't think there's anything negative about it. Just something you just have to deal with when it comes to certain kids. To conclude, would I recommend this mission pack, the B-Pack? Yes, I would. It's a good mission pack to build if, you know, you like this type of uh, kit. You know, like I said before, uh, color and part separation is good. Detailing is good. Um, panel opportunity is good. And uh, the posability with this mission pack was better than I thought, um, especially with the beam rifle pose. So I was thinking that it was going to have far less posability than it showed, which is a good thing, which is good, which is very good. So with that, um, that's the end of the review. I hope everybody enjoyed and get yours today. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. I appreciate everyone taking the time out today to watch my videos. I really appreciate it and it means a lot. And I wish everyone a good day. Later.